This video is going to show you how to change out the diaphragm in a Moray 5 liter tankless water heater. Always remember to shut off the gas and the water to your unit via the shutoff valve before attempting any repair on your unit. Once these supplies have been shut off, you can disconnect the lines if you want to remove the unit from the mounting position to work on it. First, remove the four Phillips head screws that secure the cover. There are two screws on top and two screws on bottom. Next, you will pull the knob straight off and away from the unit. Now, the cover can be removed and set aside. First, remove the batteries from your unit, and then the two screws that secure the battery compartment to the case to allow better access to your water valve assembly. The diaphragm is located in the bell housing of your brass water valve assembly. Now, grab your drill, preferably an impact drill with a 6 inch Phillips head bit. If you do not have an impact drill, then you can warm up the screws by placing the tip of the screwdriver onto the head of the screws and lightly tapping the butt of the screwdriver handle with a light hammer. Start by removing the four screws that hold the bell housing of the water valve assembly together to gain access to the diaphragm. Once these four screws are removed, you will want to loosen the nut that connects the heat exchanger to the water valve assembly. Finally, remove the two screws that secure the water valve to the back plate of the unit. Now you can carefully separate the two halves of the water valve assembly and remove the old diaphragm. Please note, do not lose a small brass retaining collar that is found on your old diaphragm. You're going to need to remove that and insert it into your new replacement diaphragm before reinstalling. Please note where collar rests in bell housing. Now, to start reassembling the parts of the unit, apply a very small amount of petroleum jelly to the inner lip of the removed section of the water valve. This is to help hold the diaphragm in place as you reassemble the water valve. 
Please note to place the diaphragm into the water valve assembly correctly by placing the diaphragm with the concave side facing out in the removed half of the water valve assembly. If you removed your unit from the wall to work on it, then you want to start the reassembly by slowly inserting the four housing screws without completely tightening them. Once all screws are in place, then go back and securely tighten them with your drill. Be careful that the diaphragm has not gotten pinched between the two pieces of the water valve assembly and it is pushing out of the bell housing. If this happens, then loosen the housing screws and resituate the diaphragm and retighten the screws. Next, remember to reconnect the nut that attaches the tube from the heat exchanger. Finally, reattach the water valve to the back plate of the unit with the last two screws. If you have left your unit mounted to the wall, then you want to start the reassembly by connecting the nut from the tube of the heat exchanger first. This will help hold the valve in place while you insert the four screws into the bell housing. Once the bell housing screws have been tightened securely, Please be sure to replace the two screws that attach the water valve to the back plate. Finally, replace the cover and reattach the knobs onto the valve stems of the unit and reinsert your cover screws on the top and bottom. Don't forget to reattach your water lines and gas lines if you've removed them at the beginning or to cut your gas and water shutoff valves back on.